who can qualify for this. So you must show, and I know it sounds weird, right? But you must uh, be able to establish that you enter the United States without inspection. So this is only for spouses of citizens and possibly even children of citizens who enter the country without permission. The spouse still has to show that they did enter and continuously reside in the United States for the past 10 years, on or before June 17, 2024. You have to, of course, show that you're legally married to a U.S. citizen. And keep in mind that this is discretionary. This is still going to be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. So they're still going to look at positive and negative factors. They're going to look at whether there is a significant public benefit or an urgent humanitarian need that should warrant approval of this application. So don't take it lightly. Don't think that you can just take a marriage certificate, take proof of your 10-year residence and submit that and you'll be fine you still have to establish these positive reasons or positive factors as to why the officer should grant your parole in place. So there is, and, and that has been my experience with even the military parole in place, which is very similar. They've expanded, now parole in place, this program used to be just for immediate relatives of US citizen military members, but they've expanded it. So that means that, for example, we still have to submit a declaration establishing or a statement from the spouse and from the applicant for parole in place establishing why they are deserving of this discretionary grant of parole in place. 